Animal. Right now, there's actually a little uh, too many. Yeah, I know there's another Zorak here. Let's go ahead and use Super Cybolt. A Guzma later will finish this off. Let's go ahead and put the last energy here. Well played. Not yet. I still have one more prize card, but I'll go ahead and put a heart face right now. Grab this here. Guzma, Guzma, Guzma. All right, another Poke Tool. Another Poke Tool. Well, hello, the girls and the French. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you a budget deck. What I mean by that is there's no GX Pokemon in this deck. Nada. And not only that, it destroys other GX decks. With Hoopa here, GX Pokemons can't hurt it. Like, oh, you can lie Xander, you can do something to get through that. It's Guzma nowadays, but oh, hey, you have to take all six prize cards. Most of those prize cards are going to be a Hoopa. <laughs> Let's see if you can do all that. So, it turns out this had a very high win rate in ladder. Very, very high win rate. Because... The decks we ran up against just didn't have a counter ready for this. So, I'm gonna just explain you a little bit more detail how this works, and you're gonna see it in four. Four what? Four smoking hot matches. You know, I wanted to say smoke because it's dark time. We'll find another adjective for next time. But let's keep on going. Today's intro is Limit Break X Survivor from Dragon Ball Super, which is out today. Two of the best DBZ fighters are fighting against each other, so let's go see how that goes after you do this video, Donald. Okay, so now, let's, all right, Hoopa, let's start off with ya. Hoopa is a unique basic Pokemon. It is a legendary, so it has 120 hit points, equal to Banana Master here. You are absolutely on par, and his deal is he is a hacker. Yeah, pretty much everybody in this deck is a hacker. What did he hack? It's like, oh. I can hack my way uh, other GX Pokemons in so that they can't touch me. All effects of the attacks, meaning the damage and any other special thing, confusion, it does not work. He is absolutely immune, perfectly immune. He cheated the system, so EX GX Pokemons, no can't touch him. The best cards in the game cannot touch this Hoopa. And not only that, he's like, oh well. Uh, you know, hackers, they don't really fight up front, you know, they don't work out at all, so it takes about uh, three hits normally, Super Side Bolt, one Dark hits this energy, one Double Cuz energy, he, uh, you know, he can't really punch very well when his arms are disconnected to him and all, so, yeah, he has to help someone, you have to give him some, uh, weapon, yeah, Choice Man, Choice Man, equipment against 30 more damage to GX Pokemons, and now, he can reasonably take them out, instead of being a three shot, which is around 80, you can do 110, which will two-shot stage one GXs. Stage twos will take three, so it'll take a while. So, you know, yeah, those hackers, they don't like to work out and then and, and, uh, build the muscles up. But that's okay. This little cheat right here is very destructive. So, let's move on with that. You'll just see how Dex in the meta are just unprepared for this. Moving on, we have our second hacker, the Alolan Raticate. Batman! Batman! So, his deal is he uh, he likes to do vigilante work for free. He doesn't charge anybody for anything. And his little hack is that he doesn't need any energies. Yeah! He's like, don't worry, man. I'm a billionaire. You know, I can take care of all the energies yourself. Just give me my equipment. So, give him a poker tool. Any poker tool. I mean, he's good with... Tools. I mean, he's got a lot of toolkits in his little bat belt, utility belt. Yeah, so anything is not going to be a fighting fury belt. It'll probably be a choice, man. 30 more damage to GX Pokemons. And this will not almost two-shot most Pokemons. It will two-shot basic GX Pokemons. It will two-shot you know, even cards like himself, even Hoopa. But the biggest, that is stage two, stage ones even, he can't. Still, it's free damage. Free! And if, uh, if your Hoopa's not ready because it takes two energies, no worry. Batman's got it covered. Batman's. Yeah, free vigilante work. Okay, so that is Batman. No energies. You're gonna have several attackers because this thing costs nothing, and all your energy investments can go on to Hoopa or something else. And our final hacker is our Banana Master. Banana Master, what are you hacking? It's like, oh, I can get you extra bananas for it. Very cheap. Yeah, you have no, uh, you've got no space in your hand or extra space. If you have less than three cards, he gives you more bananas, more cards to play with. We're running two of them. And we're playing such a deck with it, we can just throw everything down. It's going to be so fast to set this up. So he says, like, a, yeah, I got a speed hack for you. 
Yeah, speed hack, energy hack, GX hack, everybody's hacking everything in this deck. Alright, that is it. So, anything else I should uh, point out? Let me see anything special that's usually not in the most of these decks. The reverse valley is a mistake. It gives darkness Pokemon 10 more damage. So now, Radicate can hit 100 damage. Hoopa can hit 90, but with the choice band, that's 120. This 10 extra damage did nothing at all. I'd rather go for Ultra the Moon and get free retreat, so that's probably gonna be mentioned one more time at the end there. So, yeah, that's what it does. All right, now that you heard what I feel about that, I think we're ready to go, Hoopa. Why don't you destroy some GX decks for us? You got it, boss. Here we go. Let's get to the matches. Welcome to another Hoopa match. I'm gonna play my remix of This Is God Knows from the melancholy of Harui Suzumiya. There we go, got that down. That is the best, a great anime. I'm sorry, Tobias, I gotta get my intro done. Ah, I don't think I need any Ultra Balls. But I'm gonna play this Ultra Ball to get maximum value here. We have to discard Reverse Valley as well as Shauna because I really wanna use this DCE. And I trust Hoopa to starting out, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, Hoopa, go ahead and throw you down. Do I want to play this muscle band? Sure, sure. This should definitely bait out any uh, any tour removal, maximizing all the card pools that I have in my hand available. And I do have the and the only other card I can play is Max Elixir. Next six card, if there's an energy, Hoopa's ready to go. It looks like that doesn't work. That's okay. Can he one shot my Rattana? I don't think so. But to be safe, you know. To be safe, let's just go ahead and send Hoopa out. Yeah, he does have the Scoundrel regard, and that means that if he does get a DC on the Lele, he doesn't get the KO. So looking at here, looks like we're going against the infamous Garbodor deck. So as long as we don't play too many items, I've played two so far, that Garbodor don't, doesn't get too strong, and I may be able to finish it off. He can also use two removal to boost that 40 more damage. I do have resistance lowering that damage a bit, so there's a lot of math. Basically, Donald, you now know what it is. Do not play any more items. Just go on a spree with Hoopa. Just go on a spree with Hoopa. That's what we're gonna gun for. Sycamore, Tata. This lately was a waste because I had to start up front. Then, uh, then he's falling up. Ooh, what Guzmas out? That's good. That only means usually two Guzmas are left. He does have another Pokemon here that can hit me. I believe this is gonna be a priority target. However, I don't fill my bench space up. Actually, wait a minute. If this is dark, there's no Garbodor. I'm safe to go to play items. So this is the only card that can hit me. Do we take care of it now? Or might I just leave my bench space at zero and I can't harm me at all? Let me think. Let's stop it. Let's stop it right now. Hey, Rattata. You can't fight this. Bring this out right here. I don't need to do anything else. That's one of my valuable Guzmas. There we go. We're gonna remove that away. And if I don't fill up my bench space, you can't beat me with that. All right, kill the Zerua. That's right. He's gone. He's gotta come back with Super Rod. There might be one more. And if I don't fill my bench space up and go crazy, we're good. We'll just go ahead and slap you. And then you can fill, kill my Rattata. That's one prize cards. If you Guzma for it, go, go for it, go for it. You can have fun with that. And I do believe, let's see. Do I need to charge up another Pokemon? I could, then I'm, I'm like, oh, you do have Hoopas of your own, so, hmm. In that case, we'll probably end up trading Hoopas after this, so. Uh, let's go ahead and charge up another Pokemon. Let's go ahead and charge up another Pokemon. I'd say I, I want to be able to one-shot the Hoopa. So let's get Banana Master out. Put DC up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and end because I want a better hand. I'm not gonna Ultra Ball just yet. And we do get the Fighting Fury Belt, which is gonna help AA significantly. So let's go ahead and put that down there. We do get another Raticate down. But I'm gonna keep my bench space minimal. Right now there's actually a little uh, too many. Yeah, I know there's another Zorark here. Let's go ahead and use Super Cybolt. A Guzma later will finish this off. This is okay. I know there's a Floatstone here. It will retreat into something else. And with this, if he does not have the belt, I can't just go ahead and just one-shot this. It's just gonna cost me a little significant uh, to retreat. Or we can just trade with it. 
It's fine, it's cool. It looks like he does have a three Zora arc line. And remember, as long as I don't fill up my bench space, he's gonna have a lot of trouble. So if I can retreat for a one shot if I want to. And Rear definitely doesn't want that. I don't want to fill up my bench space. Let's please save. Let's just go ahead and win Shana right now. I have another DC. That's a bit of a waste. I think I'm going to go ahead and trade with that. Let's go ahead and place this down. Remove the stadium. I don't want to trigger this. And we are going to go ahead and use Super Cyborg. I know I have an energy. I could potentially. I could use it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and use it, man. I do have, uh, I, I want to keep my Sycamores, but that's okay. We have Banana Master to help us out. Who actually needs an energy right now? Banana Master? I guess you could fight, man. You could fight, but I'd rather, let's go with the Hoopas. They are safe from the Drompas right now. And this is going to increase my bench space yet again, unfortunately. But I guess I really just want to be efficient with my, uh, with my hand. So, you know, with this many Pokemons ready to go... I think we're good. Nope, no more bench space. No more bench space. Let's just go ahead and use Super Cyborg. Trade this on. And we shall keep going. Ratman gives you the advantage. Kinda. Hoopa's making a making a making a the scene right now because he can't use his main bigger Drompa Pokemons. So he's loading this up, that's right. He definitely should jump in and, you know, deny prize cards as much as he can. I decide to not waste his DCE. Because you know I gotta charge this back up again. It's okay. Field blower, go ahead. He, this is the most valuable. This is valuable too. So he'll like me. He's already going to KO the Hoopa right now. He actually took the stadium out. Banana Master is... A tanky Banana Master is threatening. The 10 damage doesn't make that much of a difference. But the 40 hit points as well as attack does. So at this point... We could fight with Banana Master. Or we can fight with uh, anything. I'm going to be safe here. Let's just go ahead and fight with the Hoopa. This prevents the Drompa from going out, removing the energy from Banana Master. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright. I could re I could throw down more bench Pokemons, but I kind of want to keep his damage to a minimum. Yeah. You know, you look stuck. That's okay. I'll go ahead and take another prize card. I'll be minimal on my turn. I was thinking about shrinking my hands, but I just can't afford to fill up my bench base. Because if you come out, hey, I only have two Pokemon to fight with. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. So Ultra Ball looks like Zoroark is finally up here. So we may uh we may do something. Yeah, yeah. First Zoroark can stand in. It can only uh it's not a break yet. And uh, this is where I kinda do want to get a one-shot with the next attack. Yeah, Banana Master is able to one-shot that if I am able to pull an energy. And I think uh yeah, we may have to try to shrink our hand to pull that off. With the float zone, it makes it easier to uh, to go through. So, Zorark coming out here for a two shot. That's a two shot. Okay. So now, if I want more cards, another Banana Master. Yeah, this will really pump up, really pump up his uh his Pokemon. But if we can get this out one hit, that's good. Let me go ahead and take away these uh cards. I'm just trying to shrink my hand right now so I can get the double Banana Master pull. Alright, we're going to try to go for maximum card pull, so there we go. Only two cards, that's almost as full efficiency. Let's go ahead and get the first, next three cards, see what we get. An N. I guess I'm forced to play N, which is about to give him a lot more cards. But I really want the energy to one-shot this. There we go, I do get the energy to one-shot this. So let's go ahead and do that right now. He does have a drop to follow up with. So that's going to be annoying. But I want to one-shot the Drumpa. Here we go. Psychic, take this. One shot the, I'm sorry, the Zora arc. There we go. And then after that, you know, I'll be okay. Banana Master will try to get you to the back line. And just, just let it be. So now, I believe, yeah, you're gonna either use Big Wheel, Righteous Edge, or anything. Even the Berserk. Berserk will actually let me survive because of the Fighting Fury Belt. So yeah, go ahead and Berserk. I will, uh, I will gladly trade with that right there. All right. Potown's gonna get me hurt. Not that it matters that much. So there we go, Berserk. But the, thankfully, the Fighting Fury Belt, he had a chance to remove this, but he did not. So, yeah. Alright, the only card that needs energies right now is Banana Master, number two. I could Sycamore. 
Should I sick more? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and get another card. We can set more Pokemons back up. Wow, a lot of cards that I don't need. You know what, let's go ahead and give you a choice, man, right now. How many, uh, how many two removals? I'm gonna try to bait the last two removal out if he does have another one right now. So we can, no, no none of my Pokemon has a two shot with this. I think I am just gonna trade up Banana Master for now. Don't need to charge anybody else up. Go ahead and Psychic. Go ahead and Psychic, 130 damage. These are worth two prize cards, so I'll be able to use, uh, perhaps... I have one more Guzma, two more Guzmas. So we'll be able to hit that Lele, anything else out. I'm very close to victory right now, if I can finish this off. Yeah, he should run this card away, but I, have, I can finish these off. Where is Guzma? Not here yet. Don't worry, we're fine. We have five more prize cards worth to wait. Uh, actually, a little bit less than this, so he's actually going to charge up the Lele, which if Hoopa goes out... No, Lele's going to fight. That's smarter. So, we're going to send Hoopa to come out. Or we can go for a two-shot. Hoopa's completely safe. The other Pokemons are not. Alrighty then. So, waiting for the Guzmas. Alright, I could force... I could... You know what? I will. I'm going to try to hunt for that, those, uh, that uh, Guzma right now. Because I want to end the game as quickly as I can. I can't activate another Banana Master. So we're going to wait right now. We're just going to use Super Cybolt. 80 damage on only, unfortunately. But, you know, if he has to run all his GX cards away. Now, anything he sends out. Anything is, everything is wounded right now. I should be able to finish anything off. Zorok, yeah. He's like, this is the only card that can get me. This is the only card I can get me. And everything else is actually, you know, tradable to, to the Drampa. There's no way he can cheat prize cards. He needs to kill four of my Pokemon right now. I could do a little uh, better job. He was like, okay, time to retreat. Send this guy out. And he's going to try to hit me with confusion, I believe. So we're going to have to fight through the confusion. If it's heads, I get the KO. If it's not, okay. I'll take it. Moonlight Madness. Yeah, that's a bit of a desperate move right there. So what do we do? Got another energy. A little Banana Master. A little Banana Master. I don't really need these cards, Rare. Let's just get, give me the Guzma so I can go home. Uh, okay, these are the only two cards out. I'll take it. I don't want to draw that. I want to be drawn by both my Guzmas left. So let's see. Guzma, don't let me deal with this. Just give me for the back line. Seriously? I'll Sycamore. I'll Sycamore. Guzmas, come on. There you guys are. There you guys are. This stadium was working against me. Let's go ahead and face the dark side now. And I think we're done. We could super ride for some uh, cards back. I think it's a good idea. I don't want to really deck out. So let's go ahead and play that super rod right now. Looks like I do a uh, yeah, banana master. You come back. Energies. There we go. Six more turns to win. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and use Enhanced Fang. It misses. Well, lucky you. Lucky you! Alright! And if he does get the Zorark out, we'll be able to slap it. But really, I just wanna... Yeah, just give me one of your back Pokemon. You're playing it right. He's playing it right to run all these cards out. Hello, Jodophilia! Alright! And it looks like... Oh, everybody's brick today, except Donald. Hey, we're all at 11 cards right now. He does have a Drumpa to come out. Drumpa can fight! If I finish off that Drumpa, great! He still has four more prize cards to go. Field Blower, alright, that's going to prevent some of the Eradicates from attacking. That is okay. That is completely okay. That is his last and final Field Blower. Do I have any more Choice Bands left? I believe I have four, so that is no. You do not have any Choice Bands left. Alright, so I am, of course, going to Guzma. This looks like there are two Pokemons ready to fight, so let's send this out. We'll send the uh, Hoopa out right now. You can't, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and put the last energy here. Well played. Not yet. I still have one more prize card, but I'll go ahead and put a heart face right now. Grab this here. Guzma, Guzma, Guzma. All right, another Poke Tool. Another Poke Tool. Two Guzmas. The third Guzma is somewhere. I just don't know where it is. So, he's trying to buy as much time, and he can still buy more time by using, by using the Lele. Guzma out. Okay. Trying to get me stuck, but he has two cards left. All right, pull that out right there, and he can fight this. 
He's got a float stone. He's gonna send this out. He doesn't want to fight this. He's gonna confuse me. I have to Guzma, or I just have to try to get lucky. Let's, tr you know, it's a 50% chance to win. I don't see no risk in that. 50% chance win. Let's go ahead and use an enhanced Fang. Ooh, ooh, man, this Radicate's confused. It's easy. It's gullible. It is gullible, 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 gullible. So, nope, you're winning. I can't. I may just KO myself in the next attack. Or I could just retreat and just beat it up. I'm just one prize card away. So he's like, alright, gonna send out a fresh Lele. Come on, Guzma. Don't do this to me. Oh boy, if Guzma's prized up, he can uh, definitely buy a lot of time with this. I'm gonna pay all three retreats out right now. Let's go ahead and send this out right here. He's waiting for me to deck out, but he's gonna deck out first unless he pulls something out there. Let's go ahead and do 80 damage right now. Okay, all the choice bands kind of hurts my damage. And he's got lucky again with that 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 uh, coin flip right there. Finish him with Rat Man. I tried to. And all right. That mean uh, that's gonna you, you have still two cards. I have more cards than I can wait. Guzma doesn't want to come around, and I think uh, looks like you want to fight with this. No, no energy for retreat. Confusion again, but you don't have a can't confusion. That's game. <laughs> the last Guzma, it might be right here. That's the one I'm scared of. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. He just wanted to. He didn't want the game to want the game to go on with that. So, our Hoopa, our GX Beauty, trolled that through. I don't think troll is the right word, but it, you know, it it prevented all most of his big attacks from working. And Guzma only takes you out so far. You need all six prize cards to fight. So, our budget deck. We had a 100% win rate today with our budget deck. I think that's good, man. Up to this point, 100%. Okay, I kind of spoiled everything, didn't I? Dang it. Welcome to the very first budget Hoopa match. There are no GX cards in this. That's a bit of a challenge mode. So here we go, first time. Let's get started. I'm going to play my remix of Zen Zen Sense from the anime movie Your Name. That one went down in history, so you probably know what it is. All right, let's open up with this. I'm gonna open up the Max Elixir. Hopefully I can get energy locked on. Nope, and I do trust the front Pokemon, so we don't have to retreat anything. I'm gonna finish my turn, I'll get you legally speaking again. Awesome. Okay, hang on, I'll get you, buddy, I'll get you. All right, I've done with my turn. I place uh, use up both my Poke Tools, the free Float Stone, and as well as this here. Because, this, you know, I should have shuffled the Float Stone away. So, I think I'm done. He didn't really need the Float Stone at all, but... All right, to get you Legally Speak again, thank you. Thank you, Legally Speaking. Budget Hype. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It really helps out, man. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad to see you back again. Yes! All right. Thanks, man. I thought you said burger hype there, but 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 <laughs> no, it's budget hype. So we are going against a deck that's weak against you know. We'll see if he has a counter against my cards. I don't see a counter against this card right here. If I throw down the rat or banana master, it's just gonna be Guzma out. So why? Let's see if this is actually capable of defeating me. That's it? No energies? No nothing else? Okay. We shall keep on moving. Alright, I'm gonna play some Reverse Valley. It automatically faces it to the side that gives me bonus damage, so I like that. I can place the Dark Energy, but if I get lucky and I pull the Double Colorless, I can't get a KO on this. So we're gonna go ahead and play N, which is probably gonna help the player out. Probably. And we'll see what we can get. I do not pull that DCE out. So you know what? I will just be casual. You know, there's another Hoopa is completely... S I wouldn't say it's safe, because if it gets pulled out, if it gets Lysandered out, then that's that. So, we need one more energy, so we'll likely get a Sycamore, so... Yeah, we'll... I'll just go ahead and toss it down next turn. We will see. Alright. Now, un un Undeek, or Unique. Unique. Undeek, actually. Well, it looks like Unique with a D. So... If all he has is Gardevoir on the field right now, there's nothing he can to f beat this deck. 
And if I do not toss down any other opportunities for him to get prize cards, shouldn't I win already? Shouldn't I win? Gallade, Gallade. Oh, you're right. If Gallade comes down, it does have weakness. It'll one-shot me. So let's see what he sends up. All right, that is not a Gallade. That is not a Gallade. So we still have to go hunt the bench line. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What do I have against a Gallade? I just have to two-shot that. All right. I don't have to do anything else. I could burn that. I could go straight for the back line, but you know... You know, let's be safe. Let's be safe. This is this could be a Gallade. You still, uh, you know, we're gonna reduce the chances of that happening. So you can... I don't care about Sushi Master right now. Go ahead and take this out. There we go. And I'll take a prize card. That means we have to... There's a DC. We'll have to hunt for uh, the back line a little bit later. Now this comes out instead of the Float Stone Gardevoir. And I haven't played this yet because I believe that he may play another Poke Tool or something. So there's still chances for Gallades to come down. We, how do we trade against the Gallade? We just have to lose two Pokemon to do two weakness. So that's uh, that's something there. So another one comes down. And yeah, it could just instantly come, pop out. So another prize card for me. You know what? I'm not going to be picking. I'm going to make sure you have a chance not to return come back re retreat. So let's go ahead and take that out right now. Let's go ahead and Sycamore as well. Actually, I don't want to be trading off my Hoopas. I'm, I, I will go ahead and set up my... Uh, it looks like he's having... Uh, he's slow, so... Let's go ahead and try to trade Raticate against that Gallade right now. So I'll place this down. I don't want to lose my Raticate right here. I'm going to go ahead and Super Cyborg again. It looks like you're stuck. I will take two prize cards. And this Hoopas, you know, he's got me some good value. Ooh, it's a double colorless. That's kind of valuable to toss down. I, special charge. Put a special charge in your deck. That's what you need. So Lele comes out. Lele can escape for a later run. So right now, he's like, yeah, I have an opportunity. He is just stuck. Oh, man. It looks like he does have a strong deck, but he's stuck. Now, it's user or loser. You know what? I'm going to waste my potential energy on the turn, and this does not need energy. So I'm just going to go ahead and play Sycamore right now, and we are just going to keep on going. So here, you need energy. Now, I'm kind of stuck myself. Not really. You're not stuck. All right. If you play some Pokemon Tour move, I don't want to go onto my Raticate. So you know what? I will go ahead and use Super Cybolt. I'm just getting too many free turns, and he only has what looks like he only has one Pokemon card, which you guys said in chat right now. Gallade. The Gallade is uh, the back here is going to be what the problem. So that does have a chance to one shot me. I would all my Pokemon's. We will have to two shot that. So we're gonna have to use Raticate to trade with that. He's so stuck, I don't think you'll need it, DC. Yeah, and he can't fight. Wanna throw another Hoopa down? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, we don't. nobody needs the energy. You know what? Somebody does need energy. Throw it on this guy. Super Cyborg. Two more prize card. Yikes! Yikes! You are totally brick to bricks. That doesn't even make sense. But, yeah. <laughs> two more prize card for me, but his Gardevoir cannot fight at all. It's just not prepared for this. He only has one card that can fight me. I don't know. Maybe this deck didn't have it. But he was bricked. He was bricked. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can take a look at this. We'll hit done. Uh, not done yet. We're not done. There we go. Oh, I cannot see it, but there might be a Gallade. There might not be a Gallade, but Hoopa, yeah, that guard was like, I can't hurt this thing. And he, both brick and, and, and that. Two things at the same time. So, First victory of the day? Cool, cool. Moving on, moving on. Let us get started. Welcome to another uh, Hoopa, G Hoopa match. It's not a GX. The winner of today's giveaway on stream is Red Bastion. So, he will see, uh, he knows what I've been playing uh, so far. Let's see what he has to counter up against me. All right, here we go. I'm going to hit done. Ooh, good choice I, good choice so let's get started i'm gonna play my remix right now of this is that's what you like by bruno mars i'm gonna go ahead and put the fighting theory belt since it makes it tougher and i think that's all i want to do i know i saw that garbador there 
Now I know when you see an Eevee, you have to suspect it's usually an Espeon, because that's the most played Eevee right now. It's usually an Espeon. And to minimize, to be, uh, the only thing that an Espeon may have to go against me is... Either Garbatoxin will shut this down, or I just, or the Garbator itself will fight. So I unfortunately start a hand with too many items. I'm shielded for this, this is good. I do have an end right now, so I believe I will try to play it. We're gonna be safe, let's go ahead and play most of our cards because that just helps with thinning out the deck. You wanna draw these again. So I'll go ahead and play this right now. I could play this item, you know it's one item, but it may get the Hoopa ready to go, and it thins out the deck of energy. Good, good. So that's loaded up. Let's go ahead and play the end right now. We only played one item so far, and we do unfortunately get a, get the DCE, so the wrong Hoopa is ready to attack. So let's go ahead and play the DCE right now. Do you really want to, you know, attack this first turn? You know, I don't mind at all. I don't want to pay up this retreat. Energies are valuable, so let's think about the long run and just hit done right now. Let's not play any more items. If he was not playing Garbodor, I'd definitely put down the Banana Master so I can get extra cards. But one item. I am trying to keep that Garbodor weak. He can also shut down if he he can also shut down my Garbodors if he has uh, stuff too. So ooh, his GX attack may be able to go pierce through this. It may be able to pierce through it. So Psybeam again. Alright, I'm looking for a dark energy right now. I really don't want to play any items. However, I'll bite. I'll bite. I'll bite. Ratata, you go out here. You go out here. One single item, no Ultra Balls. We're going to go in again. We're going to try and look for that Darkness Energy. There it is. And we also get the Raticate, so everything is going pretty nicely. I'm going to go ahead and use Super Cyball right now. So this gets it two shots, and... It Oh yeah, 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 he can't GX the Rattata. Okay, that's fine. If you GX the Rattata, that's, we'll take it. We'll take it. And it also adds another item down, so it's like, yeah, I got a chance. But he really, really needs another basic Pokemon right now. So maybe I should have held it down. Or, you know, go ahead, just use your GX attack. At least, uh, he was, it's gonna be used at some point, and using it on a 40 hit point Rattata stops it from being used on my other Pokemons, like Banana Master or anything else. So. Yeah, that's gonna work. And here comes another Lele, trying to shun out my item. You know, I paid, uh, I, I bit into Adam, the apple, the apple, and I paid two items. So far, we're still conserving most of our items right now. He has its field blowers, so that's four items right now. It's starting to build up right there. And yeah, we just have a lot of items in this deck, but we don't have to play them. We don't have to play them. So right now, Red Bastion divides GX. Only four damage under Rattata, losing one prize card. So that's okay, but he's giving me two prize cards back through this card right now. So I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. And that's gonna get another item, get another item down. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And does that activate on the Hoopas? So 100 damage on Garbodor. Yeah, kind of, kind of sad to see that, but that's how it goes. Banana Master, I believe I don't do enough damage with this attack just yet. But I will with this one right here, with this choice ban. Let's go ahead and use Super Cyborg. Oh, I can squeeze in another extra card pool. There we go. What a setup. What a setup. Sycamore. Another item down. But I think I guess I gotta prepare for the long battle against Garvador. So let's pull that out right here. Another Banana Master. That's okay. No Banana Master. I'm sure you can fight. Go ahead and play this down right here. And we're gonna use Super Cyborg, taking down the first, uh, our first prize cards. Good. Let's hope the, these will be nice. And just cause, you know, stuff. Our items are pretty high. Alright, how do you win giveaways? Ah, uh, yeah, I, got, I, have a, I have a guide at the bottom of my deck. Uh, bottom of the Twitch stream, so those there. And, alright! So, the GX deck is giving him a problem. He want, he's like, where are my Trubbish, man? I'm, I'm like, where are your Trubbish, too? This is good. When this escapes, we'll be able to hunt for it. Or we can shut this down right away. We can just not let him get this at all. You know, these are a future threat. This is not a threat. Let's we have to kill it anyways. Let's bring go ahead and do that. 80 yeah, we do have enough damage with this. Go ahead and set this down. I don't want you to have a free retreat stadium right there. Heartbreak. Yeah, I know. This is the card that allows me to, to let you counter me. I'll go ahead and play everything down. 
I have played plenty of items already. So I do want to slow him down. This means another card. This means he'll have to take another turn to get a trouble shop. So take it down right there. I think that's good use of Guzma right now. Altar of the Moon. If there's a dark or psychic energy, this counts. He's using psychic. I'm using dark. And they, we have free retreats, or easier retreat. I'm using the bonus damage one, but I believe actually the free retreat might actually make a better difference than the 10 bonus damage. Because my damage is pretty rocking right now. And it, you only need that 10 damage if it tilts you over, so... Think about that, Donald. Think about that. He does have another Garbodor charging up, but that is his key Pokémon. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna keep charging up our own Pokémons. I could play more items. Yeah, let's, we have to. If I play Ultra Ball, I lose my Shun. I don't want to lose my Shun. I want to get more cards, so let's get the Raticate out right now. Our team is growing pretty good, setting up pretty nicely. And we're going to go ahead and play uh, use his Super Cyball right here. 80 damage. Not enough to finish this off. And I don't think there's anything I can use to finish this Trubbish off. This does... Evil Soda, he now can choose which Garbodor comes out. One that shuts off abilities. Or one that, uh, one that can fight. Depends. Solely depends. It's the one that can fight. So we can go for a two shot. I'd like to use one shot of Koopa at this point. I played too many items. One, two, three, four, five, six. So oh, I'll survive. I'll actually survive right now. Six. Let me check the two removals right there. It looks like it's not able to attack. Good. So we want to go get a head start on this. I mean, it's the only lethal card there. Is the only lethal card. I could finish the EV off too, but this is the oh, this is a threat, so I'm gonna deal with the threat right now. I'll go ahead and send this out, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Super Cyborg right here. Any damage. This means whatever I, I send afterwards will be able to deal with the threat. He alternately could have picked another Garbodor and shut down the ability and be able to attack me, but right now he's not charged up right here. So, it looks like he's stuck. This Garbodor is gonna go down for free. I guess I could end you. This is out of generosity. This is out of generosity. I'm closing on my win. Here's a chance to catch up. I could have just stayed nothing, but here we go. Five more cards, and smiley face, you bet, you got it, buddy. But you gotta work really hard to catch up for this point. I'm not gonna give you any leeway on that. I'll just give you an extra hand to try to set up. All right. All the chats disappeared. Something happened with that. Dun, 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 dun. Nope. Oh, I saw chat here. Focus back on the game. Field blower. The next field blower. This will increase damage where Hoopa can get one shot at. And that's the looks like the final field blower. Energy evolution. Alrighty then, so the, now that we passed the, the the point of no return, oh, it looks like there were no more Espeons. Two Espeon GXs are here, so he must have discarded it. So he can still use Quick Draw, but this means this is a one-shot for me. Alright, we will just load somebody else up. And we will take another prize guard. Alternatively, we could try to get the Guzma out too. So right here... We are really close to victory. We have one more prize card out. The Lele cannot hurt me. He has to use Guzma to do something. So he's going to try to shun up. I actually don't have enough damage to get it. Oh, yeah, I do have enough damage. I do have enough damage. Max Elixir. These can't evolve. It looks like either one of the Espeons was prized up. And the two Espeons here. And that looks like game. So I will say heart face. Well played. We are going to go ahead and retreat right now. And let's use this guy right here. We're gonna use Psychic. It should be enough to get the KO. And there it is. Good game, Red Bastion. Ah, you had a good idea. Uh, Garbodor. Garbodor does pierce through my, uh, my immunity. And it shuts down my immunity too. But, like, strange. Everybody's not been sitting up against this deck today. Everybody on stream. And that's... That just sucks. That's just weird luck for, for, for going on. But good game, Red Bastion. Good game. Good game. All right. We shall move on. We You're kidding me. I'm, I'm in standard. There's no way you can make this work in standard unless you are doing it. Yeah, you're going to try to make this work.
you know, he might just do it. That's a hard card for me to take out. Yeah, I'm trying to troll GX decks with this. I'm running around a lot of non-GX decks. Let's get going. All right, then. I'm going to play, let's get started. I'm going to play my remix of Kuchizuki Diamond from Yamada and the Seven Witches, which sadly the anime is over. I don't, wanna, I don't really want to fight with this card. So you want my hand is completely dead? And he got a nice... Well, he did bridge it. He has got a nice start of uh, Pokemon. So yes, we got our Nest Balls. In fact, I don't think we really need Ultra Balls. We just need Nest Balls for most parts. So let's go ahead and, you know, cut our hand down. What do I really want to fight with Eradicate? Ret you know, I need somebody to take my energies. I'd rather be a Hooper right now. Let's go ahead and shrink our hands. We definitely need a draw supporter for next turn. And I'm going to get some draws in right now. I bet since I have an evolved Raticate, let's get a Rattata down so we'll be able to use it for next turn. So here's Rattata. I'm going to activate my Instructability, giving me two more cards right now. Let's see if they're useful. Very, very useful. And you know, he may have a two removal. I'll go ahead and wait. I'll go ahead and wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll wait here. We'll try to get the Floatstone to get this back and start working on this Pokemon. So I need to shut down his tech. I need to go. My my main concern is to get that down, which already is up. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Everything started up. This is bad. This is bad. All right. So he's got to use regular fire energies. So the yes. It's still hard for him to attack every turn, so we have to shut down the back tech right here. I'm gonna have to Lysander, Guzma, hit one of these cards and shut them down before, uh, before, you know, he, he gets one shots at all my Pokemons, but he has to go for all six cards. The problem is, with these abilities, he does have infinite attacks. Pretty much, pretty much. And it looks like you are bricked here. Nope, you're gonna attack. You're gonna attack with this. Alright, that's gonna kill your decks. You lost the Rayquaza, you lost that right there. Alright, I got this right now. Banana Master, I gotta try to rescue you home right now. Let's go ahead and play the Reverse Valley. Face the darkness towards my side. I'm gonna, I'll slow down, I'll slow down. Let's go ahead and use Instruct, giving me two cards that I may use. This is safe because I have this card. Yeah, yeah, didn't get me doing anything else. I'm trying to save you, man, so you gotta pull a good card. Yeah, there we go. So Rattata does 60 damage. That's a two shot. That's a two shot as well. You know, I don't want to waste my valuable energy, so let's go ahead and send out you. Give you a DC right here. Do I need the Super Rod? I could. I could. But I'm not going to. Let's go ahead and use Enhanced Fangs. I don't want to draw energy because I have too many ears right now. So we're going to do 70 damage. We are going for two shots. And he, uh, he he's waiting for us. something. He's waiting for something. He's a uh, draw of his own. And if he keeps attacking me, he bur keeps burning his deck. So space beacons, like I rather, I rather not have a rare candy. Give me my energies back. Ooh, pretty good. Now the energies are gonna go for either this Rayquaza or the Tapu Lele. It looks like he's going for the second Rayquaza. This one is going down. The retreat is horrible. It's horrible. He discarded that fire energy that he needed. Man, I'd be scared to keep using that attack. So you know, I don't need the energies. Stick it on here. This can get me two more cards. So I'm going to recycle two energies back in my deck, which I don't want to. Well, now I don't want to. So let me pull out two more cards. I shrunk my hand. Fighting Fury Belt. Here, bring on to the Hoopa. Not that you'll live from that attack, but... We'll save it. You know what? Nah, let's just thin my hand out. If he does get an N or something, I don't want it back right now. I'll hold the float stone because the Hoopa doesn't need to retreat right now. All right, we're going to enhance Fang, finish off that Rayquaza. And you could actually get any energies back. You could get these five energies back, too. So this is pretty much ready to f take down my Eradicate next turn. Yeah. All right, so Eradicate, this is the end of you. I mean, you're taking 190 damage from this, so it's good we got that. We kind of really want to hunt the back line right now. So if I do get by Guzma, I'm going for the Starmie since I can't finish off the Magna Zone. Magnezone may pay up all its energy to escape me, so that's a bit tough. So here we go. We're gonna see the in the powerful Sky Judgment. He can't attach the fire energy. 
I don't know if there are two lightning energies in hand. One. Two. Yes, there they all are. We have to go for a two shot for this. So, oh, poor Radicate's like, oh, that stings. That stings, man. Oh, yeah. Well, no, a Weave will be nice here. A weave and Hoopa will be pretty cool. All right. Hoopa, you can only get a two shot this. I believe he needs another lightning energy in his hand to make this work. Banana. You get a float stone. You get a choice ban. We get double pulls with double banana masters. We really want another Raticate up. I don't mind you being here. I don't really need this card. But why not? Why not? Nope, we're gonna Sycamore. You do not Banana Master with Sycamore, because you might pull a card that you need. Alrighty then. So we're gonna put another DC up. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this away. I'm burning through my deck surprisingly quickly. We got Eradicate and another Lo another Alolan Eradicate, so they don't need ener energies at all. Alright, I can pull another extra card out because I have two Banana Masters, so my gosh! This is actually faster than I thought, and nope, I'm not going to give you that. Let's go ahead and use Super Side Bolt, and with the hit points, I still cannot survive this 190 massive damage. So now that we have Guzma, we can try to break the combo by hitting the Starmie, which is what I'm going to try to do. So, uh, can you redo it again? Space Beacon, throw in the fire energy, that means... Uh-oh, this has to be an energy, and he gets to do it. Two lightning energies. That last card has to be an energy, though. That last card has to be an energy. And after this, he has nobody to fight with. One more, one more. He does have it! Congratulations! And now you're really stuck after this one. Alright! Do we finish this guy off? I think so, or do we deny the combo and just not let him have it? Like, he, his combo will be completely broken. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna ignore this for now, because without the Starmie, it can't attack again. So, alright, I'm gonna place down the Red Tata. I'm gonna place this down, it's ready to attack me right now. Let's go ahead and Guzma. And we're gonna put down a free Eradicate. There we go, you want some more cards, Banana Master, double Banana Master, it's like, Yeah! I'll feed you everything you want! All right, Enhance Fang. Oh, I actually made a mistake here. You see, this actually had enough damage to finish it off. Or actually, no. Yeah, that actually had enough damage. So he may, he will have an energy to retreat this. I messed up. I meant the reason I made this mistake was I sent the Raticate out because I uh, I didn't care. I uh, it has no energy. This is more of my throwaway card. When I really have sh should have sent out this. With that stadium, it would have done 90 damage, enough to KO this in one shot. So he can't activate, put the retro energy, and he's gonna punish my mistake for that. So he's like, yeah, easy this. I'll just put energy in there and go. So, misplay. This would have been... But that does somewhat break his combo. At least for this turn. At least for this turn. We'll have to wait for another Goose to finish it off right now. It looks like he's kind of stuck. Space Beacon. This will allow him two energies for the next turn. I guess you could fight with the Lele. He could invest energies in Lele instead of Rayquaza, since Rayquaza's almost going down. No, Rayquaza's gonna be here. And the energies are now locked up, but he can still get them back in the next turn. Of course, I want to keep my friends stuck here. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, I think I'm running too much, too much out of cards, so let's go ahead and enhance Fang. So that's another potential for Guzma. And with this here, he can play this to retreat, re bring this out, and we, uh, we're we gonna have to bring uh, take this out right here. Uh, Alright. I'm, I'm trying to let the mistake move away from me. So, how many Guzmas are left? Two Guzmas are left. I want this card and this card at the same time. Field Blower? Mmm. Where are you gonna take it away? The Radicate? Alright, that's not too big of a problem. You have to use that in getting energy, so in this time I do have a Guzma. You know, I kind of want to finish this card off. But I lose my Guzma, that's it. Let's... I think we can use this right here. Here we go, Rattata. Let's fix the mistake right now. Finish you off. There is no more Starmie anymore. 
and we're gonna use the baby rattata to take it off. So you can use that. Actually, you could just Dragon Bolt it if you want to. Don't want to waste the energies, but you're so wounded and low. So Rattata's like, I'm the star, man. I took out Pokemon. There we go. So now that he has to set up another star, you. Dragon Bolt's like, yeah. And he is. Everybody I've been playing today is brick, man. Everybody's bricked except me. All right, now I feel safe. I'll go ahead and set this up right here. Do we want uh, another Kuzma? All right, you look like you can kill me pretty soon, so I'll go ahead and finish you off. Take that, and we'll Guzma that Lele a little bit later. All right, so now either Lele or Magnezone comes out. This is a pretty important tech. We definitely would love to take this out. So, my gosh. Punkinton says, it's amazing how much damage Radicate can do with no energies. It is, and it's really good for trading. So, Lele comes out, choice bans on this. Magnezone looks like it's time to fight, finally. He actually has been taking pretty, a lot of prize cards, so we're, neither of us are going to get too much value. Uh, too many cards back from end right now. Another Magnus Zone comes out, and now he has to fight. Whew, that was close! Alright, uh, I think I think he's sarcastic. He's just bricked. He is just totally, totally bricked. You have a good deck? Oh, thank you. Bring everything back up. You know, I gotta play seriously. You don't know. You don't know, man. Something really bad could happen. All right, that's it. We can still pull more cards. I'm gonna pull using strut. Grab me two more cards. Yeah, I could use these, but sure, sure. Hoopa, you can have this. I gave it to the back Hoopa. Why? Should you give it the front one more damage? Does it matter? It's like I trust. I always trust. Uh, you know, the back one to get give all the good stuff. Something, something crazy may happen to this one. And yeah, let's see. The belt doesn't. It doesn't make a difference for anything I see currently. He's gonna send this Magnus Zone out, put a fire energy in. Nope, Magnus Zone comes out. That's the core tech I want. So let's go ahead and attack. Wait, play an energy. Banana Master, you could have an energy. Everybody is loaded up and ready to go. 90 damage. Oh, man, buddy. It looks like you're gonna need a lot more draw supports for this. So uh, that looks like game. Heart face, goodbye. Thank you, Grilled Cast Form. That is that. That's, I think, three opponents that are bricked. Three opponents. But good try on that deck. Good try on that standard deck. I had to go to expand to make mine work. And it barely, barely worked out. And yours? Hey, you took out three of my Pokemons with it. Yeah, uh, let me, do I get to take a look at this? I get to take a look at this. So let's take a look. He's using 16 Pokemons. That's, you know, that's fairly uh, good. Four Rayquaz's, Magnus Zones, Starbees. He has four Sycamores. Four ends, and I think eight draw supporters is too low. He does have two Lele's though, 10. I think 12 and 13 could be it, but you know, I would say it's fairly reasonable. It's, it is reasonable. He just couldn't land these things, so they were prized up, so. Alrighty then, we are done. We are done. Whatever happened, it was just my opponent was bricked. Okay, three. Yeah. We get a 100% win rate with this deck on stream we mostly ran against GX decks and they just really didn't have an answer for this yeah lucky we avoid the nine good non GX decks though. so uh, you know, let's wrap this up hey you made it to the end thank you congratulations let's break this down Hoopa what is your unique trait the reason we love you is your ability you're immune to GX Pokemons that can't touch you and if they're both of these guys load up yeah you're gonna have to go for Guzma you only got three Guzmas, so... Or maybe even four, but three? Bye, Banana Master. Bye, Raticate. Somehow you gotta get those last remaining ones before I take down your GX Pokemon. Or your non-GX Pokemon. Your counters. So, damage! I'm gonna give this a three out of five. If there was a Necrozma here, I might actually give it like a five out of five, but no, this is, uh, this is just budget. You cannot go more than a two-shot. Nobody can go for more than two shots. So, that's three. That's barely minimum. However, something's making up for that low damage. Setup! 5 out of 5. Because you can devote all your energies into your Hoopas, your Banana Masters. They don't die as easily. And yeah, that's why e multiple Pokemons are charged at the same time. You can send out your Raticate, you can send out Hoopa. There's another Hoopa ready. Banana Master might be even ready to go. That's kind of easy setup. They're basic and just one Pokemon actually evolves here. One. That's him. 
you can set this up in no time. It is a joke. <laughs> easy, easy. Best score in the game. 5 out of 5. And defense, we're also going to give you a 5 out of 5. Why? Against GX decks. Yeah, they have to take all 6 prize cards. However, Hoopas, you know, it's killing a lot of time. It's wasting a lot of resource. Now they have to do something else to get this off. Play inefficiently. It feels like you have to work much harder, you know, to deal with the Tomb of Hoopas. So... We're going to treat your GX immunities as, you know, blocking hits, denying opportunities to get prizes. So you will get a 5 out of 5 there. Yeah, so specifically against GX decks, though. Rating, I'll still give it a 4.5 out of 5 against, you know, generic GX decks that don't quite have a counter. But if you're going against something like Greninja, if you're going against something like, um, let's see, like a team of Banana Masters even. Yeah, Banana Masters can squeeze in any deck. Basically, your opponent has to have a strong non-GX option. Then they will wreck this. Maybe guard or to shut this down. There are a variety of stuff. So weakness, good non-GXs, Garbodor. Yeah, alright. So that is it for now. Any upgrades? I used Reverse Valley for most of my matches. 10 damage did nothing. Go ahead and put this uh, Altar of the Moon in there. Said that at the start of the state video. So, that is it for now. For Hoopa, at least. And you wonder what's in the next Pokemon video? Let me tell you, it's Crocodile. And for Alligator. He wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, this guy actually has a lot of uh, thanks to him. So, we'll have a pretty good score later. Alright, that's, uh, that's it for uh, this Pokemon video. Anything extra I'd like to say? I do vlog on my other channel, so you probably have a video of that there every day. And there's also, I'm going to start back my second uh, Dark Knuckle Plays, which I do play other games than Pokemon. There's just no more uh, games that I can fit on this Pokemon channel, so I have to go somewhere else to do that. So I'll likely be streaming there and that. I think that's all. Well, yeah. Today's Saturday. However, this Saturday, this weekend, there's a lot of uh, family coming over, so definitely won't be able to, uh, yeah hunker down do, do much here so there's that and i think yeah it's enough about me thank you very much integrals differentials please like subscribe you know you want to see more pokemon videos like this crimson invasion is coming out soon my remix can be found on spotify itunes wherever you like to stream your music new ones coming when the new expansions release so yeah you get new cards and new music at the same time yay all right uh, if you follow me on social media you'll usually on twitter i'll clue you in when things are happening and next video, it's not coming at 9 central. We gotta take that away. It's gonna come out 3 p.m. now. Ah, I gotta change that. 3 p.m. Why? I've. It's a YouTube algorithm thing. In the morning, you guys are, uh, most people are, you know, they're at work, they're at school, they're going to college, they're busy. And uh, you want to put your videos, you know, around the time when it gets watched the most. So I think around the afternoon might be the best. So we'll hold off around there for the future, uh, for the, from now on. It's just, yeah, okay. Deuces. No problem. Uh, this video should be available by 9 today. However, for the future, as you heard this, it's coming out at 3. It's coming out at 3. Okay, that is it for now. Thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchals. I'll see you guys next time for Crocodile tomorrow, Sunday at 3 p.m. on YouTube. Thank you. Bye-bye.